What would happen if I did abs every day for 30 days? Would I see results? Are abs made in the kitchen? Can you get abs while also trying to put on weight and gain muscle? In this video, I'm gonna challenge myself and see if we can answer these questions. My goal is to do a total of 100 reps of various ab exercises and see if we can notice any results by the end of the 30 days. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Alex Garfe and on my channel, I share fitness videos and challenge videos with the hopes of inspiring you to become the best version of yourself. If that's something that you think you would enjoy, consider subscribing and let's grow this family. So I've wanted to do this ab challenge for quite some time now, so I'm I'm super stoked that I finally completed it and I can't wait to share the results with you guys. So with that being said, let's jump right into day one. All right guys, here we are. It is day one of the ab challenge. So I'm gonna be doing a whole host of ab workouts. It's not gonna be one thing the whole time because that's just gonna get boring and it's not gonna be the maximum benefits that my abs can get if I'm just doing one workout. So we're gonna switch it up, do a bunch of different workouts and take you guys along. I am currently bulking right now, eating a whole bunch of calories and I was 158 pounds last October, and I'm currently sitting around 190 pounds. Since I'm bulking, of course, my abs aren't gonna be showing like super crazy, and that's why I'm doing this ab challenge to see if my abs can really pop through as I continue this bulk. I'm trying to get to around 200, maybe 210 pounds, and then from there, I'll start cutting down my weight. But obviously, by the end of this video, the only thing you guys care about is seeing if I'm gonna have some sick abs or not. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Day one of the ab challenge starting now. All right guys, that is a wrap on day one. Excited to see how this challenge pans out. This should be real interesting, let's get it. So here's how my abs look on day one. I took this right when I got home from the gym. So as you can see, my abs are there, but they're not as visible as I would like them to be. And that is the whole point of this challenge. So let's see if we can get these abs to pop out by day 30. Let's get back to the video. Day two. Abs. How do you feel about this challenge? I feel pretty good about it. What do you think that people are looking for with this challenge? People are probably looking to see how they can get abs. I'm gonna say, I mean, there really isn't a shortcut, but we're gonna see if we can potentially hack that and see what kind of results we get. And for the people that just got discouraged that there is no shortcut, what are you gonna say to them? I'll say usually there's never a shortcut to life. And if there's a shortcut to life, you're gonna show up unprepared or you're gonna be there prematurely. So you gotta take the long way. I've done the push-up challenge. Did 30 days, 100 push-ups a day. We saw some results there. That video's on my channel. Also did 50 pull-ups a day for 30 days. Those results are also on my channel. So I feel like if we do abs every single day for 30 days, we're bound to see some kind of results. The only thing is with me, is I'm currently bulking, like I said before. So for other people, they might not be bulking. It might be in a whole different scenario. Your abs might come in way quicker than mine. So everyone's different, but we're gonna see what happens. What's up guys? So it is currently day 10 of the ab challenge and I'm feeling pretty good. No soreness ever since pretty much like day three. Like the first three days, I definitely had some soreness, but now we are feeling good. So I'm ready to crush these abs. We're doing a hundred reps of a bunch of different ab exercises. Just gotta equal the hundred. That's the main important thing. And yeah, we're about to get this workout in. So we'll see you guys in the gym. What's up guys, it is currently day 15. We are halfway done with the challenge and I'm super stoked to show you the results so far. I'm gonna go in the bathroom right now and let's do a quick physique update and see how these abs are looking. I haven't had anything to eat today. All I've had is a little bit of tea and that's it. So it's a very good representation of how the abs look. Let's get it. All right, here's how we are looking. My core is definitely a lot tighter. I know I can feel that. I mean, what do you expect? 15 days of doing 100 reps of abs every single day, but super stoked to see what another 15 days of this will do. I'm trying to get the side abs to come in too. You can see they're kind of coming in. But yeah, this should be really interesting. So I can't wait to see you guys in the next 15 days. I'll obviously do some updates as we go along. So we'll see you before the 30 days, but yeah, let's crush the last 15 days. All right guys, welcome back to day 20. We have 10 more days left to go. I'm definitely seeing some more definition in the abs and I can't wait to finish strong. So 
Abs are looking good. They say abs aren't built in the kitchen, but or abs are only built in the kitchen, but I think we are disproving that now by hitting abs every single day. So I'm excited to finish strong. I can't wait to show you guys the results. I'll probably see you again on day 25 and then day 30, and of course, like a recap of the whole challenge in itself. So with that being said, 10 more days to go. See you guys in a few days. checking in it is day 25 we have five days left until the challenge is over and i'm super excited to share the results with you guys let's look at how we're looking right now i got a full day of food in my stomach and let's see how the abs look so i had a lot of sushi today and just a lot of carbs in general and about 10 minutes ago i did eat some cereal so this is how we're looking after we got pretty much a full day's worth of food inside and we're about to go to the gym right now and honestly i feel like the results are still looking pretty good we got five more days to go so it should be pretty interesting how we're looking towards the end of the challenge, but let's go to the gym and hit this workout. Alright guys, day 25 is a wrap and here's how we're looking after. Not bad, so we'll wrap it up here and we'll see you guys on day 30. All right guys, it is day 30 of the ab challenge and I got the pull up bars right here behind me. I think the gyms are closed because today is Easter, but I already did about 60 reps, 60 leg lifts to be exact, and I got 40 more to go. So I'm excited to finish off and show you guys the results. And just like that, when I finish this, the ab challenge is complete. So let's get it. And just like that, the ab challenge is complete. Let's take some photos and see the day one and the day 30 picture and see what kind of difference we can spot. So here is a side-by-side -side of my day one and day 30. As you can see, I look surprisingly leaner on the right, which I'm happy about, and both videos were taken right after the workout. In terms of the bulk, I didn't gain a lot of weight in the last 30 days, maybe just a few pounds, but that's probably just water weight. All in all, I am pleased with the results and I definitely think my overall core strength went up. And if you are wondering, I did no intentional cardio in the last 30 days, aside from longboarding here and there, which I do for fun or 10 to 15 minute walks since the weather is nice. I definitely think that if you try this challenge, you will see positive results, but I also want to be clear that there is a reason they say abs are made in the kitchen and I still find that to be true. Pairing proper training with proper nutrition will greatly increase your chances to get those abs you've always wanted. So if you're wondering what my current training regimen is, I've been doing a push-pull leg split for the last three months. This is a pretty common split. You got your push day where you're doing chest, tricep, and shoulders. You got your pull day where you're doing back and biceps. And then leg day is of course legs. So the abs were just thrown into the mix for the last 30 days. And even on my rest days where I wasn't working out my large muscle groups, I still made sure to get to the gym and hit my abs for the challenge. So I hope that you guys found some value from this video and I hope it inspires you to get out there and get that body that you've always wanted. Let me know your favorite ab exercises in the comments down below, or let me know if you guys are gonna try this challenge. And if you are gonna try it, tag me on Instagram and I will repost you guys to my story. And remember, seeing results in 30 days is pretty cool, but even if you don't see results, you can't beat yourself up. Because if you're gonna stop right at day 30, you're gonna end up right where you started. So consistency is the name of the game, and when you put in work over a long period of time, you're guaranteed to see those results that you're after. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you did find value from this video, and it will push it out to more people so that they can also find value from this video. And if you guys like my type of content, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. We just hit a thousand subscribers like a month ago. I'm trying to get to 2,500 and I know with your help, 
we can do it. Let me know what other challenge videos you guys want to see in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace. All I want is, 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 all I want is